hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how you can use the shape king gene for character creator or iclone today it has gotten a new features so i'm going to show you how you can use that now it has gotten easier than before how you can set it up so i'll leave link to download the add-on in the description when you download the add-on it always comes like this shape king gene iclone character creator for extract first okay so then first thing you have to do is extract the zip file okay so let's open it we open it you can see we have these three uh, files here the zip file and the python file and there's the test file so, okay so what you have to do is let's go and copy the address test okay the part the file part and let's go to blender here so go to edit preference and if you have my add-on shape king gene okay if you have this add-on shape king gene make sure you disable it first before you start installing this okay so let's go to the file path here so if you paste it it will bring it to where you have it okay but here we have the shape king gene zip file the first thing you have to do is double click on the zip file and it will extract the zip file okay and click on install again and double click on animation to python file okay now you can see the name is shape king gene for icon clone and character creator okay for i clone it so just click on enable and if you go to your animation tab here you can see it has been it is here okay it starts from register face object animation to i clone and character creator for and then shape keys okay so these are the new features has been i have been added a register face object and the shape keys okay so i'm going to show you how you can use all this the next thing you have to know is that if you are going to export your character to another program like character creator on ranging unity make sure before you add shape king to a character you have to apply the subdivision modify first okay you have to apply it for by yourself so here it has subdivision modify here so i'm going to apply the subdivision modify before i continue okay if you are not going to export it to any other software you can keep the subdivision on so now let's go and continue okay so before you can add a register object to this collection here you have to make sure or you select the rig when you select a character body and you add you try to add um, this to your face object you can see it gives you no amateur modified association with other shape keys means you have to select your rig first and if your rig is rig with metal rig make sure you choose metal rig if it was rig with auto rig make sure the source rig has been choose you choose auto rig pro right now this one we use auto rig so i'm going to choose my source rig as auto rig pro and i'll just select the rig and click on rename you can see this rig name is rig okay so when you click on rename it is going to change your rig name to r dash shape keys and it will automatically pick that one as your target rig now after that when you select your character body and you click on add so here we are going to add all the faces object to this collection here i have added the body okay and i'm going to add the left eye the right eye and we have to add the eyebrow the upper teeth lower teeth and the tongue okay so now we have added so let me add the hair to it so i'm going to add the head now i have added all the fish this object we are going to add the shape king to it so we can unhide everything now the next thing we have to do is when i play through my timeline here nothing is happening so we have to select our rig okay and click on transfer animation and click on ok now you can see we have all these keyframes has been uh, imported into our timeline here when i play you can see our character is performing all the shape keys over here we are going to convert all these keyframes into shape key so let me extend my timeline for you to see okay so let me scroll to and show you something here when we start from frame 1 to frame 10 the the left eyebrow reach up and it will reset on frame 11 and another key another shape key also start on frame 11 going to frame 20 and it will reset on 21 and another one will start from 21 to 30 and reset on 31 that's how the shape keys has been dropped here okay so here you need to stand on a frame you want it to be your eyebrows raised up like if you think frame 9 is better for you you can stand on frame 9 and save us and go and choose it browse raise inner dot l when you click on save us you can see we have all this shape keys name over here so so when you choose and also the names on here has been listed according to how also the shape keys here or the keyframe here has been dropped so its length 
okay so we are going to stand here here you can see the so here when i click on save as you can see this is browse race inner dot l this browse race inner dot l uh l okay this left browse has been raised so that means that's why this one has been picked so just hit on ok and it is going to save this state as a shape key so the next thing you have to do is don't move our your timeline again just click on jump to next jump forward and you, you can see the right browse will be raised up so what all i have to do is just click on save us and choose browse raise inner r okay so all i have to do is just click on jump and it will jump to where you have to save your next shape key jump again and then so anytime you hit on jump make sure you go and change the name of the shape key this brown drop l and hit on okay okay make sure you check if that match the name you're going to choose okay so you can see this brown uh, brown drop dot r so you need to choose that one for it and this i blink dot this i blink l okay so i'm going to speed up to finish giving all the shape keys So, okay now i have finished giving my character all the shape keys okay so right now when i select the rig select the body and i go to my shape keys here and i use this to raise the eyebrows you can see nothing is happening but if i select the eyebrows and i use that one to raise the eyebrows you can see it is moving up this is what we want okay so right i'm going to show you how we can export this into culture creator and make it work or we have to uh, replace it to the culture creator expressions okay since everything is done select the rig click on clean rigs and it is going to delete all your keyframes here okay now we don't need the rig again so we have to delete the rig so before we delete the rig press a select everything and press alt plus p and clear and keep transformations now i'm going to delete this now i have deleted the rig press a to select everything let's go to export and i'm going to export as fbs okay so i'm going to choose path i want to install this so i'm going to create a new folder here and i'm going to export it to here okay to export into this folder so you will go to path copy and i'm going to embed the texture and all here i'm going to export only mesh and let's go to geometry and make sure apply modify has been unchecked okay these are the basic settings you need to keep and export okay let me call this um ray done now it has been exported to here let's go to character creator file import and let's navigate to where you have the file it is here there's a ray so i'm done double click on it character this human not character so we click on apply nice so here the character has been imported into our character creator here okay so the next thing i am going to do is i'm going to wreck the character inside character creator okay so you will go to accurate if you have accurate install you will see that one here. so click on create guys i know it's okay and it's going to create a markex on our character okay i think it's good so i'm going to click on generate skeleton and let's wait for it to create to generate it done our rig has been successfully generated so i think this one i'm going to move it up a little bit okay i 
um, the next thing I have to go is click on bind skin and I'm going to bind to our card that's a surface binder to our rig so let's exit from our rig and I'm going to test it with animation so let's go to motion may and idle okay let's check this idle animation and see great uh this worked perfect okay so now it's us left with how we can add the shape key which has created in blender in here so let me reset everything so i'll go to windows and facial profile and here you can see we have all these um cutter creator sliders it doesn't work you cannot move it all of them is off because we don't have shape key for this card so click on edit expression so we have all these expressions over here so click on this down arrow far and go to load and you navigate to where you have your ray this character you just exported you're going to import it again so double click on it and it's going to check through the SPS file if it has a shape keys and it is going to be listed all of them here but now you can see all the shape keys we have in blender has been imported here and it will look good okay so uh we have to go and replace all sliders with the same name that means every slider here that had the same name here you can see we have browse race inner l here and we also have browse race inner l here so it's going to replace over here okay so if you check here we have the same one over here browse race inner l okay that's good so we are going to replace all of them and let's type a random here I'm going to type random name like others and click on ok so when you go here you can see now we can use this one to control the slider and it is moving it up that's really good ok so blink this eye blink we can also um, go in blender and make the blink perfect okay we can we can use this uh, scope tool to make the blink perfect okay like if you select it and you go to blink okay let me search for blink okay this um you can select it and go to scoped use the smooth tool and decrease the strength here we can we can smooth it out to make it look good So now when you see it's okay you can go and select everything again export and export as fbs okay export as fbs and click on this you're going to export to that the same fbs file again so make sure you use the same settings you use when you're exporting make sure apply modifier has been unchecked and export it again go to here and i'm going to load the expressions again okay so i'm going to load it again now it has ported now let's replace it again and this and okay now when you go to eye blink and you move you can see now this one look good and it's really same as we have in blender okay so you can see this blinking look better than the other one okay we have um jaw jaw open okay let's look better jaw left jaw right okay everything look good okay though you can see we have separate object with it um all of them have their own shape keys but it has linked together okay so now here let's go to motion may okay let's go to um fascia full body and let's test the fascia to see if it is working as we want great so it is working that's all right now we can link your live link data to this and you can record your face while having to add another animation to it okay you can also export this into iClone 